This is Speaking Growth, and I am your host, Carol Williams. Remember, life and death are in the power of your tongue. Thank you so much for joining us here at Speaking Growth Production. I am Prophetess Carol Williams, and I'm so glad that you can join us again for 365 days of prayer. I mean, we do know that prayer changes things, and we need prayer in our lives. I will be praying today. Uh, our topic is going to be healing and God's principles on healing. I'll be reading from the NIV version of the Bible beginning with Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, his stripes, we are healed. Matthew 8 and 17. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. Ephesians 3 and 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that works in us. And also 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. And I'm just going to um, just talk about these verses for a moment. A lot of people are going through sicknesses, illnesses, disease. And if you listen to that word disease, disease, ease in the body. The body is, is not at ease because something is going on in it that should not be going on. But the word is telling us today that Jesus is a healer. On the cross, he did not only die for our sins. Remember, he told us that I came that you might have life and that more abundantly. That's part of that more abundantly. He didn't, he was not just looking out for our soul. He loves us so much that he's looking out for our natural bodies too. And he wants us to be healed. So he has already made that uh, sacrifice on the cross. When he was being whipped and his back ripped open, that was for us. That was for our healing. We are healed by those stripes. And we have to trust if we have that faith. We have to trust that what he said shall come to pass. And, and just to go over that Ephesians 3 and 20 again, now to him who is able to do immeasurably, a lot of times we use another version and we say exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Well, that means that there are no limits. We are the ones that put limits on it because listen, it said according to the power that works in us. So we've got to allow his healing power to work in us through our faith and through our believing in him and through our knowing that he is not a man that he should lie. So whatever he has said, that thing is going to come to pass. And we have to be able to just stand on that. And 2 Corinthians 1 and 20, where it says, no matter how many promises God has made, and he's made a lot of promises in his word. That's corporate. That's to all of us. But then he's also made some promises to us individually. And so we've got to understand and know that uh, his promises, the answer to those promises are yes. He's already answered them. It's up to us. A lot of times we don't receive things because we put the blockage there. We put the limitations on him. When we hear a diagnosis from a doctor, we should listen to our doctor, yes. And if a doctor puts you on medication, I will dare not tell you not to take your medication as the doctor has told you. 
What I will tell you, though, is to couple that with prayer and faith in God. You have to be wise. The Bible teaches us to be wise. You know, if you're on certain types of medication, you don't just stop taking them unless the Lord tells you to. But you have to be wise. And sometimes he even works through doctors. Remember, Luke was a, a physician. So he has no, no issues with doctors. And sometimes your healing is going to come through the hands of a doctor so that others can see what he has done. Because listen to this part. It says, uh, and so through him, the amen, or that sureness, that assuredness is spoken by us. When we come into alignment and come into agreement, what he said about healing or anything else, but here we're talking about healing. But when we come into alignment and we say, amen, amen, meaning it's sure. So, so it is, so be it. And when we say that we're giving God the glory because he's already done it. Everything that he's going to do, he's already done it on the cross. Now, what we are experiencing today is the effects of how are we receiving what he said? Are we trusting in his word? Are we following uh, the guidelines or the principles that he set forth? We have to have faith. That's one of the things he said. It's impossible to please him without faith. Are we having faith to believe that God is going to heal us? So I'm going to go ahead and pray. And I hope that something I've said so far just in the scripture has triggered in you to think. What have you been saying? Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm down. I just can't get up. You know what? This was not in what I wrote down. But this is actually part of... Uh, Speaking growth, which is, uh, you know, our, our ministry, speaking growth. We have to learn to watch what we say. We live what we say. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So if we're saying, oh, we're so sick. Oh, we're down. Oh, I just can't make it. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're not going to make it. Whatever comes out of your mouth, that's what you're going to live. And if you want to live what God says and what God's word says, then begin to recite and begin to say the scriptures and, and, and recite the promises that he has made. Healing is the children's bread. Healing. We are healed by his stripes. And if you can't do anything else, if you can't give a full prayer, you know, you're just feeling so down, so sick that you can't give a full prayer or you feel like you don't know how to pray. Get you one good scripture that says what it is you're expecting God for, what it is you need from God, and you stand on that scripture. You stand on that scripture. I remember years ago, uh, and, and I bring this one up, this particular uh, experience and tribulation that I went through because this was probably one of the greatest tribulations that I went through. The devil was trying to sift my mind. I couldn't think right. I was over the prayer group. I could, I felt so uh, bound that I couldn't even pray a full prayer like I'm used to praying. I just kept saying, Lord, keep my mind. Keep me in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. I recited those two things over and over. And I tell you the truth. God healed me. God lifted that off of me. And that's what I'm saying today. We have to begin to speak those things that be not as though they were. Because guess what? When we say they be not, oh, they are not, you know, using our correct English, they are not. That's because we don't see them physically with our natural eyes. But guess what? They actually are 
already in the spiritual realm and we just have to pull them in through our faith and through the use of using our mouth in the correct way so i'm going to go ahead and get into the prayer and i my hope is that you will uh, allow this to resonate with you that you will if you've been saying those things about you about your body or about someone else that you know a diagnosis of, or you, you know, you know that person is sick. Let us not keep saying we're dying. You shall live and not die. Begin to just minister to yourself. Lord, we lift our hands to you in prayer. Prayer for the healing that you have promised us, Lord. We accept, Lord, and honor that by your stripes we are healed. We come against every attack of the enemy, Lord, who comes to steal our health, Lord, who comes to uh, deteriorate our health, Lord, who comes to bring disease and infirmities upon us, Lord. We know that he is the father of lies, Lord, but we know that there is nothing above your word, Lord. We ask you, Lord Jesus, just to look upon us today, Lord. We thank you for the work that you've already done on the cross, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the healing that you have already promised us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that healing is our bread. And we thank you that you give us daily bread, Lord. And we walk in faith, not by sight, Lord. So no matter what the diagnosis is, Lord, or no matter, Lord, what we feel in our bodies in the natural, Lord, what we see going on in our bodies in the natural, Lord, we will stand on your everlasting word, Lord. We speak to our bodies, Lord. We speak to our bodies to conform to your will, Lord. We speak to our bodies, Lord, that you get the glory, Lord, for the healing that you bring about in us, Lord. Every part of our body, Lord, we speak to to come into alignment with the healing that is promised to us, Lord Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we speak to, Lord, the blood vessels, Lord, that they will function properly. The blood will flow through, Lord Jesus. We speak to those cancerous cells, Lord, and dry them up in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we speak to the tumors, Lord, that you will shrink them on today, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, to that person who's in the hospital right now, Lord, they think they're on their deathbed, Lord, but we thank you, Father God, for working a miracle in their lives, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Lord, specifically today, Lord, go into the hospitals, Lord Jesus. Walk the floors in the hospital. Let your healing spirit prevail there, Lord Jesus. Bring them hope and joy and peace and comfort, Lord, and knowing that you are there, Lord knowing that you can heal them, Lord, and knowing that it is your desire to heal them, Lord, that they may be well, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. We thank you, God, that every illness, God, has to come under submission to your will, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, and we love you, and we praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We do not wait, Lord, until we just begin to see a physical change, Lord. But by faith, we believe that we begin to praise your name now, Lord. We begin to thank you now, Lord. We begin to rejoice right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we love you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am so excited because I believe that somebody is going to be healed through the prayer. I believe that somebody is going to be delivered through the prayer. I believe that someone is going to be strengthened through the prayer and through the words of the Lord. Remember, speak to your body. Speak over yourself. Speak over your life that you shall live and not die. Thank you once again for joining me here at Speaking Growth Productions, Prophetess Carol Williams, and I am wishing you well. I am wishing you health, and I am praying for you. Thank you. Amen.